Hi everyone, this is Ed from the Art, Art Reply channel and I hope you're doing okay. In this video I will show you how to draw um, a hot dog uh, sandwich using the MS Paint application on a desktop computer. Uh, this is a very common application. It should be automatically included when you have, when you're using a Windows um, operating system. All right, now before I proceed, uh, let me just let you know that uh, I recommend that you use the, you use 1,352 times 1,014 pixels. Uh, uh, that's, this will be the measurement of the canvas that you'll be using on the paint. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start um, creating the the uh, the hot dog sandwich. All right, I'll first try try to use the curve tool right here. All right, and uh, as you can see, you can put it on canvas, and then you can adjust it creating a very uh, smooth curve. So we're trying to capture the, the, the curve, the smooth curve of the, of the bread and of course the actual hot dog. All right. Go it again and then just do it again. Then let's do it at the bottom here. All right, so don't be afraid to commit mistakes. Okay, just have fun and, uh, you know, practice makes perfect. So right here we're trying to do is try to create the actual bread that will hold the hot dog. When um when you try to release the the curve tool and shows this square as you can see, uh, it will allow you to um, left drag the the line and try to connect it to the existing line like what I'm doing right now. Okay, this is very important because later on we will fill in the colors um so that it won't mess up uh, the artwork. Um, don't worry, you will understand what I'm referring to later on when you see it. Uh, we'll also uh, maximize some of the tools, for example, the magnifying glass tool, so that I can see those lines that need to be connected. Okay. You can right click to minimize, left click to maximize. Okay. So we'll do this as well at the bottom to see if there's any lines that are not connected. Okay, we can see something here. Let's fix it. Right here. So you don't have to be perfect on this, you know, the, don't be, uh, you don't have to be perfect. So again, it is just uh, learn. Okay, we'll do the curve again on top, just like that. Just have to have patience. Don't rush. Just you know, get the hang of it, and uh, you realize that you know doing this is really fun and simple. If you're not yet um, knowledgeable or uh, not really used to using those um, high-end uh, softwares, let's say. Um, 
let's say for example Adobe and all that stuff and that's okay you can start here and um, and who knows maybe we'll have an troll for uh, uh, for the um, for for using the uh, the Adobe as well you know but for now we uh, we stick with this one okay so as you can see um, like I said when when you um, you know put in the the curve uh, you let the circle I mean this this um, uh, the the square so you can actually drag it to try to connect it here see that. And then we'll see, we'll try to use the magnifier again, if it did connect. Um, we can use the, um, the eraser here, like this. And I'll uh, try to connect it. See. And again, to minimize it, just right click on the magnifying glass. Check it here. Alright, see so there's something that needs to be removed. Okay. Alright, there you go. We have finished the bread. Okay. Alright. Alright, we need to uh, move uh, this, uh, this bread a uh, bit like farther here. And I'll be using the select, um, keep a uh, select tool. So you can use this one. It's like you can, um, like you can use this for a regular, uh, a regular, um, 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 images. Okay, like this. There's another option to get in a rectangle, so you can see you can capture it using a rectangle around it, or you can actually use this free form. Okay, doesn't really matter. So you can use whatever you are comfortable. Okay, okay there you go. Now, I will also need to uh this this, this and it, it's okay. You can actually uh, you know. Um, Make this a bit larger if in case you notice that you need more space like this and then we will use the free form again and move it here all right. and then um all right let's try to um, Increase the um, image. Okay, we we'll use the uh, magnifying glass again. Okay, all right. So now we're going to you try to use the. Now we're trying to create the hot dog. All right. So you, if you can remember the hot dog usually sticks out of the, the bread, which is really cool. Okay. Let's go down a bit here. All right. Um, you can try to practice this as you can see what I'm doing. I place the curve and I can move it with the left click, left drag, and do this. Okay. Let's undo this. So let's say you wanted to um, 
raise something um like let's say have the last uh, move you did is is you place some image for example this one line and you're not like you felt like you need to remove it just go to control z on the keyboard okay control z for zebra okay like this okay and then we'll try it again All right, so let's try this one this time. All right, we will delete this. It's not the way I wanted this to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and stick, like stretch the hot dog here. Right. Let's do some magnifying glass. Let's see what happened. All right, you can see the, the broken line, right? And we have to connect that. Um, cause that night, um, when the image later on. Okay. All right. So we will keep doing this. Um, we'll try it again. Okay. All right, let's try to use the free form. Mm. Okay, let's remove that. Let's use the eraser. Use the magnifying glass to make it larger. Bring it easier to raise. So again, you know, just have fun. If you commit a mistake, it's normal. It's part of learning. It's part of having fun. Practicing is perfect, and uh, I assure you, you will have. Uh, you'll be able to create your hot dog sandwich. Control Z to remove that. We use the magnifying glass and we created that. All right. 
There you go. Okay. Looks like we have the actual shape of everything here. And, um, let's go ahead and, um, remove some lines here. We did not see this early, so that's okay. So now check the sides of the image here. Oops. Let's try that again. Oops. No, that's okay. Don't worry about this line, it's a bit crooked, you know. You'll see what I'm going to do later on. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we'll do next is this one. Um, we will use the fill color. Here, uh, just left click and we'll color everything. See that? All right. Now, as you can see, the bread was also covered in black, which means there's something broken. The line is broken. We need to look for that one here. Uh, have patience. Okay, so everything you do, you really have to have patience. Okay, let's try this. Let's try to block this part. Found it, that's okay. Ah, oh, there you go. I think I found it. All right, let's try it again. There you go. Yep. Try this. All right, we also need to look for the other side of the bread. That's okay. I'm sure we can find it. We just have to keep looking. All right. There you go. Found it. There you go. Looks like I need to smoothen this, smoothen this up. All right, looks like we know now. Um, okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. What we'll do next is this one. Um, we'll turn this into color bread. And we put some, um, you know, we need to put some variations in, okay? Let's 
sorry about that. Like, All right, let's go ahead and try this. Um, here, here, there. And um, we will fill in the, the actual hot dog. We'll use black first because we need to capture the color uh, black from the inside. Make them whole. Okay, and then I will put the red color that you will no longer see the, the color of black. See that? No more black lines, right? Okay. Let's try it out. Change the color, color up a bit. Okay. There you go, color. Okay, and then um, go back here, we use this one, yeah. I'll just use this, then I need to <clears throat> Some part of the bread a bit light, if you notice, we're eating a, a bread. Some of it is a bit light for the flour when it was cooked. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Same thing here. Then um, we will fill in again. Um, okay, this is fill color. See that? Okay, we'll do some. Okay, looks like it's too light. Okay, let's try it this time. Let's do some changes here. Um, yeah, let's do this one instead. There you go. Is that okay? Let's make it a bit darker. All right. Um, sorry. All right. Let's try it here. Oh, okay, it was the same color. That's okay. We just have to keep trying. Um, at least we know what's the, the standard color. This is just the one. We'll just have to light them up a bit, a bit lighter, but not too light. All right. Then we try it again. Okay. Like that. Like this. We have to um, erase some parts of that part right here. There you go. All right. And then we had to uh, work on the, um, the hot dog this time. Okay. Um, this is the one. So we'll make it a bit uh, darker. So as you can see, some just like. Um, if you can remember, you know, the end of the hot dog, there's like wrinkled stuff in that, just they wrap it, um, uh, and, uh, see some, the shape of it, you know, at the both ends, it was like wrinkled. We'll do the same one here, right on top. All 
bread. Now, some um, have their hot dogs, like they wanted to put some uh, slice in the middle, because, you know, that's just a very juicy, right? And um, that's what we're going to do as well. Okay. Do this. All right, let's uh, zoom into it. And we put it here. Okay. Need to zoom in. Okay, there you go. Found it. We need to enclose that to prevent the color from escaping. Okay. Same with this one. One more. Um, okay. Looks like I need to put one more here. Alright, um, let's just uh, put some more um, emphasis here. Okay, yeah, if we draw some. In. Right. Um looks like we're all good. Okay, so this is how you uh you know create a uh, hot, hot dog sandwich on it. Um no main needs it, we'll try some uh, that um maybe someday, maybe sometime. Okay, but let's just uh, create some uh, background here, okay. There you go. Alright, so um this is the uh uh, my first attempt to create a, um, um, a hot dog sandwich um, using the MS Paint, um, the MS Paint um, application. Okay, uh, if you have suggestions, feedbacks, comments, um, it, please you know comment down below. Hit on the subscribe channel, and uh, yeah, see you in my next video. Once again, this is uh, Ed from the Art Applied channel. channel. Thank you, and uh, goodbye.